the part detail planning allows to implement adjustments, changes and extensions on a project-related basis based on all previous steps. This is very similar to the detailed room-oriented planning from the previous part, room template. The following description therefore contains some repetitions but with additions. First you see on the worksheet the created floor plan with the associated room templates and the well-known functions such as auto zoom or measurement. If necessary, another room can be added. A template can be selected by going back to the part room template, return to the part distribution structure is even possible. When activating high performance, all rooms except the selected one are hidden. This increases the performance of the configurator, but does not support planning across multiple rooms. If you want to see all the rooms again, just click outside of the room and all rooms will appear. After selecting a room, it is marked in red and, if necessary, it can be adjusted subsequently under room settings on the right hand side, just as in the basic setup part. Under Functions, you can see the KNX devices planned for the functions, e.g. lighting and blinds, Dali Gateway or Shutter Actuator. They can be adjusted accordingly in a selection page under Change Actuator. Under Distribution Box, you can now see these modular devices in the distribution board intended for this room with product ID and article number, as well as connection diagram and channel assignment to the load circuit. The plus icon on the Dean wheel allows you to add additional KNX MDRC devices. After closing this window and clicking on the free area of the worksheet, you will be taken to the option to select the floor with the rooms. Everything can be renamed, copied or deleted and adjusted as with the room settings. Now let's move on to the step Add Functions. Based on the room template used, the basic functions and devices already exist. These can be further specified and expanded here and additionally functionally connected. What are the choices? Sensors with buttons, motion detectors, light sensors, touch panels and voice control, room temperature controller. Light with dimmable and switchable actuators or DALI. Temperature control for fan core unit, split unit, radiator and underfloor heating as well as cooling ceiling. Shading for 230 volt and SMI drives. Data connection with sockets for antenna, speaker, telephone and UAE. Sockets normal or switchable for USB, charging station and cooker. Multimedia, flush mounted or ceiling speakers. After selecting the main functions, sensors, light, temperature control or others, you drag and place an element into the respective room using drag and drop. If you click on this element, the channels, if they exist, are displayed directly in a red field, all the properties or customization options are visible at the top right. If it is an element with channels, e.g. rocker of a push button, click on this channel, select a load circuit, e.g. light, and thus functionally connect them via a connecting line.
Advantage, the installer, who later configures and programs the KNX devices with the ETS, receives the relevant information. You can delete it again by clicking on the magnet in the connection line. How can you make adjustments to a sensor with channels? After creating the connection line for a channel, click on the channel again. The device is then shown at the top right and can be changed. Under the tab Products, select Change Product. Corresponding options make it possible, for example, to change the type of the presence detector. Use the shut down button at the bottom left to close the function menu. The next button appears to go to the last part, the result.